Mario runs forever in December, there's a fallout of mods on the PS4, people get pointed at at the Games Award, and is the nudity in Watch Dogs 2 so bad that it broke the online portion of the game? All that and more in this week's Last Week's Gaming News. Roll the intro! Pokemon finally saw the release of its anticipated game Sun and Moon last week. It was well received on Metacritic with a score of 86% for both games. Sun and Moon introduces a new region to the game, Alola region, with a new set of Pokemon also coming with it. Also in the games are new forms for previous generation Pokemon, such as Executor, Doug Trio, and Grimer. Another small addition featured in Sun and Moon is the ability to customize your character as he fit, although it is limited to what you can do. When starting on your adventure, like every iteration of Pokemon, you get to choose between three new Pokemon. These Pokemons are Rowlet, the grass type, Popleo, the water type, and Litten, the fire type. Which if we're being honest here, the fire type is the only type you should be taking, right? Am I right? Super Mario Run's release date has finally been revealed last week. On December 15th, this will actually be Nintendo's actual first game being released on a mobile device and will be available on iOS. When the game was announced a while back, it was also mentioned that there will be a version for Android coming in the future. As for the price, Nintendo was pleased to announce that this game will be available for $10 in the US. Now I know, some of you guys might get on the hate train and complain about a game being so expensive. But do keep in mind, you're getting a full version of the game for this price. And why not pay for that price? The people that complain about a high price on a mobile game are also the same jerks that complain about a free-to-play game being shit. Pay the $10 and get with the program, son! The long-awaited Fallout 4 mods finally hit the game last week, delivering a selection of Sony-approved mods. Looking through the selection, you can get a pretty decent amount of mods that can fit all your little heart's desire, except if you want it to be a stormtrooper then you're shit out of luck. While mod support was released for Xbox One in September, Sony and Bethesda couldn't agree on what should be allowed to be available for PS4 owners. After Bethesda publicly called out Sony for the mod issue, both parties agreed to put mods back on the console, with the exception of mods containing assets that are not already in the game itself. Dear Bethesda, I got a plan for you guys to get a lot more mods on the PS4. While Sony's not looking, just slip those other mods asset into a patch, then make it available as a mod. Your best friend, Me Time Gamer. With the end of the year coming in hot, the Game Awards finally revealed their list of nominees for this year's award show. The show, which usually features a nice dose of awards and EXCLUSIVE TRAILERS, will feature Doom, Inside, Overwatch, Titanfall 2, and Uncharted 4 for Game of the Year nominees, and also Red Dead Redemption 2, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Horizon Zero Dawn, Mass Effect Andromeda, and God of War for the most anticipated game. The award show will also feature a new category, Best VR Game, since this was a hot topic this year. Another piece of news coming out of the Game Awards is the Industry Icon Award being awarded to Hideo Kojima. If you remember last year's Game Awards, Kojima was not present during the event because of this whole Konami affair going on. I'm happy to see Kojima being recognized by the industry and I can't wait to see what he does with Death Stranding, which weirdly enough comes out the same day as the end of Konami. What a wild coincidence, ain't it? Watch Dogs 2 came out last Tuesday and it came with the unexpected down south surprise of female and male genitalia. Picture were floating around the internet which showed the aforementioned cat in the hat and Ubisoft stated that they will be removing the unnecessary frontal assault. A naked man was also spotted in a game with his third leg sticking out but the developer said that this flopping willy will remain after the patch fixing the unintentional sausage and bun party. The naked man was actually supposed to be in the game funny enough. Most people didn't even have an issue with the open blinds. The issue came when the PS4 user shared the event on the PS4 with another one of his friends and got his account suspended. This has been resolved since then. Oh, and uh, Ubisoft is uh, fixing the online portion while you play with yourself on the single player. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this week's last week's gaming news. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the show this time. It was a lot of news, but I talked about the stuff I'm more comfortable talking about. Even if the last news what about, was about uh, vag and penis. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> Which was pretty hilarious when the news came out this week. Of course, if you enjoyed it, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate that, like I do always. Uh, comment below what you thought about the news this week. And of course, follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer. Where I post a new video every day of the week. Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching this week's last week's gaming news. I was your host, Me Time Gamer, and I will see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.